So as we look at the two plants, we see they're very healthy. I will admit that. I think everybody will admit that. Look at that. Very healthy, grown in the mud and the dirt, which people insist they put in their tanks, cause Wallstat said it. And look at the difference here. Look at the growth. Look at the leaves spreading out and the extra growth coming out of the basket where the plant is actually multiplying. Now, of course, this is strictly up to the hobbyist. What do you want? But I guess the point of this experiment that I'm showing is, where's the big advantage? Why would you add more nutrients to an aquarium and there's no big advantage to it. You're just adding more pollution to an aquarium that's not needed. I mean, this is growing good. I mean, everybody would admit this is growing good. I'm not going to deny it. But this is growing better. And as we all know, the chief enemy of good is better. Look at this. This is spreading out. It's multiplying. Look at that. More plants are growing out the side. So... I guess we have to think, is dirt really necessary? Or are the substrates that you pay 30 and $40 and $50 a bag for when, look at this, the kitty litter. That's all it is. Now you understand why manufacturers don't want you to know the big secret. Because a bag of kitty litter or oil dry or safety zorb costs anywhere between five to seven dollars for a 20 pound bag. You know, and then with the special substrates, they bought a 17 pound bag may cost you, uh, um, you know, 20 bucks or more. So I, I thought I would do this just to show everyone, so far of what the experiment is showing. Now, remember, they're all getting light. I move the plants around. Every week they get moved around. This one's in the center now. This one's off to the side. The other one's off to the side. That's recovering from the uh, crypt rot from me overdoing it with this one, cleaning it, and it got crip rot on it, And but it is recovering. It's not 100% dead. It didn't just die off. But this goes to show you that this is plant has been abused and it's recovering. This has kitty litter in it in a closed container. This has the dirt, miracle Grow. I didn't put normal dirt. I put something that had a lot of nutrients in it. This is plain old kitty litter. Nothing. No, no iron at it. No laterite at it. Nothing. So we can see there's a difference between the three plants, and I move them every week to move them around. I mean, this is an experiment that anyone can do to see how a plant growth can be. Now, this doesn't only work with crypts, but it also works if you're going to use Amazon swords, if you're going to use any plant that needs to be put into the substrate. Any plant that's aquatic grows better in kitty litter than it does in some of the most expensive substrates, which this one is just full of nutrients. This miracle grow is just full of nutrients. You normally, I would not make a aquarium using dirt like this because I'd be too scared that it would uh, turn into one big ball of uh, algae and get completely messed up. But of course, I did it in this tank because this tank is using the BCB basket, and it is uh, going on three years old, this tank, and the basket in it is over three years old. So there is no algae in the tank. The lights come on at 8 o'clock in the morning and go off at 10 o'clock at night. And yet you don't see any algae all over everything. And uh, this is using the Asta 120 light. Uh, it's at 80% and I'm also using some CO2. I'm not using CO2 at, at its fullest, 
but I'm using CO2 to help the growth rate of these to, you know, for the experiment to, to have them grow faster just so we could see the progress of the plants. But this is, this is really something that what are the benefits that people claim? I don't see it. I don't see the benefit. I don't see the risk factor either. You know, the risk factor of putting in something like this into your aquarium and maybe something happening where those nutrients get re get released into your aquarium, that is going to cause havoc. That is going to just cause algae up the yang yang. This is not because there's nothing in there. Why is it working like this? It's because if you watch my videos, because it's taking the ions out of the water and giving it to the plant. The plant then exchanges an ion for another ion. This continues on year after year after year. This exchange of what the kitty litter does, the clay. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's really something when you see, here's your comparison of the two. In ending this video, I just wanted to basically show everybody the progress that's being made through this experiment that what is the advantage of using dirt, soil, or the advantage of using uh, an expensive ADA that we're constantly being told over just a normal kitty litter. Because I've been in putting iron in here twice a week, this aquarium, at one milliliter twice a week in the aquarium. So I don't know, I can't really say what the advantage is of using I think dirt. basically what it is, is people are hoping that if they do use dirt, their plants are going to grow better than if they don't use dirt. And plus, dirt is cheaper than, let's say, buying ADA or, or the fluval substrate or any of your plant growing substrates out there. I understand that, okay? But here's proof. That is it really needed? Do you need to do that? This is an open cell basket. So if I had a tank and I was only going to grow plants in baskets, I would definitely not grow them in a pot, first of all. I buy these open cell baskets. This is a four by four. I think you can get them like four by four. You can get them five by five or six by six depending on the size of your aquarium. This is the way I'd be growing all my plants, whether I had uh, sword plants or crypts or uh, uh, pennywort, any of the plants that are out there. Definitely, if I was going to have an aquarium, I just want to have pots of plants. This is definitely the way I'd grow them. I would not waste my time using a substrate high in nitrogen and phosphates and everything else. Okay, these are not saltwater aquariums. These are freshwater aquariums. This particular aquarium, I did a test on it uh, in one of my videos for you just recently, and it had uh, zero nitrates. Let's put it that way. They both look good. They look, both look like very good, healthy plants. But this one, with the spreading out, and everything of the leaves compared to this one's not even doing that. That makes you wonder, well, what is this receiving that this one is not receiving? Anyhow, I thought I'd just bring you up to date. Uh, this is Dr. Novak. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you up to date on these, these plants, what they're doing and how they're doing it. But, uh, as you notice, I just basically brought up questions and I didn't bring up answers. Why would you plant your plants in dirt like the Warstat Meadow? What is the advantage? 
What is the major advantage? I'm sorry, I don't see it. And I'm showing you right here proof that there is no advantage. The advantage is getting nutrients to the root system. And if you don't get the nutrients to the root system like this one's doing, then you'll have good growth. But like I said, this is better growth than this is. This is already multiplying, being shoved out of the basket, everything else. This is trying to spread faster than this one. Hmm. Makes you kind of think, doesn't it? So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. I want to thank you for watching. And I hope we're learning something from this little bit experiment.